Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to unlock your Windows Phone 7 device. Now this does work on any Windows Phone 7 device, so I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. But first, I'm going to start off by answering a couple basic questions that a bunch of people have. Now, everybody wants to know what unlocking a Windows Phone 7 actually is. What you're doing is you're just bypassing Microsoft and tricking the application deployment tool into thinking that you are a registered developer so you can actually sideload load third-party applications onto your Windows Phone 7 device so then you can do different things like changing your background or actually changing the color of your live tiles or in the future you could actually load up things that are more complex like different third-party apps and emulators now it is not like jailbreaking because jailbreaking gives you root access and this does not give you root access and it does not give you access to lower level functions like root access either basically you are just bypassing Microsoft and loading on your own third-party applications. So to start off, you're going to have to download a couple things. Uh, you're going to have to download the Windows Phone 7 Developer Tools, also known as the Windows Phone 7 SDK. So just come to this website. It will be in the more info. And once you come here, just make sure you hit download to the vm underscore web dot exe and then just download that. Once you have it downloaded and installed, you guys can come over to this media fire link and you can just download the Windows Phone 7 unlocking tools I have prepared for you there. So then just make sure you download this package right here and then you can open it and make sure you have something such as WinRAR to open it with or some other type of thing that can open RAR files. I will include a link to WinRAR in the more info because I think it is the best thing to extract RAR files and uh, once you have it opened up then you can just either drag it to the desktop or extract it to the desktop and I'm just going to extract it right there and once you have it downloaded then you're going to open it up and you can take them both out on the desktop if you want so I'm just going to place them both right there and then what you're going to do is you're going to have to log into an email account and I have my email address right here and what you're going to do then is you are going to compose a new message and you're going to send it to yourself so I already have my address inputted there and I'm just going to put A and A as the message and the subject. Now I'm going to just attach a file and what you're going to actually attach is you're going to go to the desktop and you're going to attach chevron wp7.cer now it's important that you send the .cer and not the .exe because what this is is it's a certificate and once you open up the certificate on your windows phone 7 and install it then you will be able to run the chevron application so then you can sideload but first what we're doing now is we're sending this chevron wp7 certificate to our actual phone and once it has finished attaching it, then you can click on send. Okay, so now I did send it. So now you're just going to go into your email on your Windows Phone 7 and make sure you refresh it. So I'm just going to go inside of there. So once you're inside of there, you will see this attachment, the Chevron WP7.CER. And then you're just going to click on it and that will instantly start downloading it. And once it's finished downloading, you will get a shield to the left hand corner of it and then just simply click on it and then it will ask you if you would like to install the certificate and then just hit install and now it says your certificates are installed and you can just click OK to exit and we're gonna go ahead and go onto the home screen and now we're good to go we can actually plug in our uh, Windows Phone 7 into our computer so you will need a USB cable in order to do this so now once you have your phone plugged in like mine is right here you're going to want to make sure that the Zune software actually does start up and if you haven't set up your phone then you're gonna have to do that really quick you can just keep skipping past all that stuff and keep hitting next and it will work fine you want to make sure that you are just on this screen right here and then what you're going to do is you're gonna open up the Chevron WP7.exe file which is the second file that was in the download that I gave you guys then once you've loaded up the chevron wp7.exe you're gonna make sure that you are at the home screen on your windows phone 7 and you're gonna make sure that it is not pin locked meaning that it does not have a passcode and you're again just going to make sure that it is at the home screen and then just make sure you check both of these check marks on chevron wp7 and then hit unlock 
Now it did only take like one second and now it is unlocked and now we can actually sideload specific applications onto our Windows Phone 7. Now you can relock it if you want simply by hitting relock and now it is locked again. So I'm going to hit unlock and I'm going to actually demonstrate sideloading an application really quick. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to open up application deployment. Now that was in the SDK I told you guys to download and here it is and what you're going to do from there is you are just going to find a XAP file and I will give you guys some links in the more info where you can find XAP files and uh, there aren't that many of them at the moment but if you can come across one then you can install it basically. So I'm just going to install location settings and I'm going to go ahead and go over here to uh, all my applications and I'm just going to scroll down to show you guys that I do not have anything called location settings in my applications and I'm going to go ahead and hit open and then you just hit deploy and because the screen did flash it was refreshing my applications and now I have an application called location and then what I can do is I can just bypass the settings application and it instantly takes me into the location settings portion of the settings application. So that is one example of something that you can do with a unlocked device. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and relock it simply by hitting relock. And now I'm going to show you what happens if you attempt to sideload an XAP uh, file with being unlocked. So I have something called Accent Changer and I'm going to go ahead and hit deploy and as you can see it says error installation of the application failed device is developer locked register for developer unlock program before deploying the application. So now I'm just going to go ahead and hit unlock again and now it's unlocked. So now I'm all the way up to the very top in my applications and as you can see I do not have anything called Accent Changer and I'm going to go ahead and hit deploy and it says it's deploying the XAP file and now it is deployed and I do have Accent Changer now and I have full access to that. So uh, that is one thing that you can do with a unlocked device. Again, I will be making more videos on what you can do with an unlocked device. And I just wanted to tell you guys and let you guys know that uh, your device will actually lock by itself sometimes. It'll actually relock if you try and load up something with Zune or if it goes out and it fetches. Uh, something and it checks with Microsoft and sees that you did not pay. Sometimes it will relock it to uh, unlock it again. Just load up Chevron WP7 and make sure you have that certificate installed on your phone and you can unlock it again just like that. Now there are some ways to actually bypass that to make sure it never does that and it never relocks your device but you have to go into registry editor which is uh, and potentially could be dangerous to your device so I won't tell you guys how to do anything like that in this video. I'll save something like that for a future video. So I hope you guys like this video. If this helped you, please hit subscribe for more videos similar to this one. And also be sure to let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, rate this video up. This is ICU, signing out.